Hi, welcome back to my greenhouse. My name is Christopher, as always. I'm outside here today. <laughs> it is it is by far the hottest day. Uh, I actually have the door open now because it is 40 degrees Celsius in here and I'm wearing wool. So I'm not gonna turn off the fan, so you just have to excuse the sound. I'm. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing. Okay. I was going to do something with my cucumbers today. I've been planting some cucumbers and I know they're a bit late, but uh, I hope they're gonna get, we're gonna get cucumbers later in the season. But I don't mind. We have the whole summer now and uh, finally the grow room is starting or the greenhouse is starting to heat up um, so much that everything is starting to grow nicely now. Today I wanted to make a trellis for my cucumbers. I have been thinking about several ways of doing it, but I, I ended up with these things here. Um, I have no idea what these are called in English, but they are used to, uh, you bury them down in concrete to, to reinforce. So it's kind of a reinforcement net or something. It's made out of metal. And um, this is the bed that I'm going to have my cucumbers in. And I was, th uh, yeah, I, I have a sweet cherry tree there. Suddenly it just popped up out of the ground. I was thinking of having a cucumber trellis going all the way over to the other side, like this, about five meter or something. And I have 10 of these panels just laying around from last year in the small greenhouse. So, I thought it could be fun to do something um, trellis-wise. Um, I'm going to do something out of wood and these ones and I'm really gonna try to make it look nice because I'm going to go in here, this is my Zen garden and uh, I want to be able to go in here and think, well, this looks almost decent. <laughs> so I'm going to, to make, make my idea as I go along and that's never a good idea but that's that's what I'm going to do today. And um, since it is 40 degrees Celsius in here, that's over 100, I think it's about 100 Fahrenheit. And um, I'm, um, I'm going to time lapse or, or do something uh, with the voiceover, I think, because I'm not gonna be able to work and talk at the same time in this kind of heat. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you <laughs> once it's all finished. And this might be a two-day project, so I might not get back to you uh, directly until um, tomorrow. But I don't know, we will just see. Before I got started, I really need needed to make a plan for what I was going to build. And um, I ended up deciding to, to use my 2x3-inch wood and 2x2-inch. Uh, two so I, I just pre-cut everything and... Um, I had a general idea and I was going to use the, the metal fence as you as you saw and I wanted to make some slots in, in the wood so um, I was able to, to just fit everything in and make it tight without having to use some sort of wire or, or something like that. And on the, the metal mesh I cut off the sides so uh, when I was uh, joining the um, the panels, it, they they just would join nicely, and I could also zip tie them together uh, at a later stage if if that was something that was necessary. Um, I started to assembling the whole thing. Uh, you just have to excuse my voice; I'm a little bit <laughs> I have a cold, so uh, it doesn't sound too good. Um, I wanted to make it level, and I wanted to make it um, so it was nicely centered in in the grow box. And um, I didn't have a, a complete plan yet for for how to um, make support beams for this. Um, I, I just wanted to to build the frame first to just see how much I actually needed, because this is going to stay indoors all the time. There's no wind going to affect this. It's only going to support the cucumbers and, and some melons. So um, yeah, 
um, I, I wanted to to make something that was uh, rigid enough, but not not too overly built. So I got some shoes for I don't know what they're called. Uh, we just call them some some shoe shoes for for the beams uh, or um, the center beams. So I I just uh, just hammered those down into the ground um, uh, way far and um, just just fixed the um, beams to that with screws. It wasn't something that I I I, I just used whatever I had laying around and. I thought that what uh, was a, a good idea, so I used some some L brackets to to um, support the bottom two by two for putting in the um, the metal ne- uh, metal mesh, and um, it it turned out nice. I was able to to fit everything together, and as you can see, I I did put the the metal points that was sticking out from the mesh down into the slots both on on the sides and also on on the bottom and um, where the panels join you see I I cut it off and uh, it it joined together nicely and that was where the camera cut so but you will see more on on this side of the fence Um, the first part that I did was a little bit longer than the second part but it all totaled at I think 5 meter 20 or something so um, it was a, a nice length and um, as you can see I secured the the bottom beam again and uh, everything is still a little bit loose but uh, we're going to fix that later and this one took three panels and, and the first one took four panels so then when everything was finished <laughs> I, I had the devilish time trying to to connect the the top beam because uh, all those pointy bits were supposed to go into this thin narrow slot but it worked out so I ended up securing the whole thing with some crossover beams down at the bottom and since the shoes were already way down into the ground it it really made the whole structure really really solid and there is no need for extra support for my application at least yeah this um, this is what it looked like after I was finished. Well, it, I wasn't completely finished at that point, but uh, I think it came out nice, and uh, I'm really going to enjoy growing cucumbers on this trellis this summer. Okay, so we're finished, and I am really satisfied, as I always say in my videos. But but I'm I'm proud of whatever I can make with my own hands. I. I think this is gonna serve its purpose and it looks decent enough for me. I'm not shooting shooting for, for, for perfection, it's just something that I... I'm gonna look at it a lot and um, I would like something that looks halfway decent and uh, I think I got just that. So I hope this video serves as a kind of an inspirational video for you. Uh, I know, at least for me, I'm, I'm always growing things that in some way, shape or form requires trellising or, or some sort of support. And it's kind of hard on YouTube to find a lot of inspirational videos. You get uh, a few select videos that have one, one idea and, uh, and that's, that's all well and fine, but I, I'd like to see more projects go out there and uh, that's why I'm creating this video. It's, it, it's not the most exciting thing if you're not into uh, or if you're not looking to, to build something for yourself or, or to get an idea for something. But uh, I think it's important that, um, that us gardeners share, share our methods of, of creating whatever we're using to support our plants. And uh, I did put up a, a wire for my tomatoes. I have two wires going across. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I don't think you can, um, but I'm gonna do a, a video on that because I have some uh, some thin rope. I don't know, thin rope, and I'm going to to um, string that on the tomatoes and make sure that they um, keep growing upwards and not just fall over and lay down flat. And I'm already getting a, a ton of flowers on those, so they are growing really, really fast. And my peppers are coming along. They they have been suffering. We've had so cold nights. 
uh, that I even had to put in an additional heater just, just to make sure that we could stay above freezing because it was so cold. Uh, so, but it looks like now we are finally clear from frost uh, on the 10 day forecast. They don't forecast anything close to frost at night. So that, that leaves us almost all the way into June. So I think we're good for this year. And that way I can really focus on getting all the other things out into the garden and uh, make sure that uh, we get a progress outside of this greenhouse also. So yeah, if you have any suggestions or comments on this project, just leave them down in the comments and uh, I'll make sure to read that. And uh, wow, we, we just hit 20k subscribers. That's kind of a, a fun milestone for me. I When I started started this um, journey on YouTube, I I had this vague, vague kind of euphoric uh, goal and that was to reach 10,000 subscribers and uh, now I'm, I'm double that and um, yeah, I'm, I'm just so thankful for everybody who, who's tuning in and, and watching my videos. I I really do appreciate that and all the comments and positive feedback on everything I'm doing. Uh, it, is, it is so much fun because I'm doing gardening alone. Most of the time I'm doing gardening alone here. And um, it, it is so nice to have all your friends out there to, to be able to share this kind of, of, of thing, the gardening. Um, I... I share everything else with, with uh, everyone around me, but uh, kind of the gardening thing is, is really for, for you and I to just sit down and, uh, and take a look at it and um, get ideas back and forth and, and we're all continuing, continuously sending seeds back and forth and, and sharing experience and, and produce and everything. And uh, it, is, it is a phenomenal thing to be a part of and uh, I'm really, really thankful for that. And, I'm going to try to continue to, to deliver videos and uh, hopefully they will get more interesting as we move along into the growing season. So it's kind of in between now. The growing season indoors is, is getting to a kind of a halt because I'm, I'm focusing more outside. But uh, outside it hasn't really started yet. So um, it's going to be more exciting once we get, let's say, Let's, let's just put a month on the calendar and uh, I think we're going to get some more interesting things. And I, I did actually get some, some sweet cherry trees and uh, I don't know, <laughs> why the heck not? <laughs> I could grow cherry trees inside here. And uh, most of you are probably going to say, well, they're going to get too big. Of course, they're going to get too big. I'm just going to have to prune them. So I don't know. Let's just see how that works. Until next time, this is Christopher saying may the force be with you and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!